today I have a new toy to share with you all. Um, I promised a couple of folks that I would unbox this on camera and I'm anxious to take it out, so I'm anxious to make this video and unbox it. Um, so a couple of years ago, just to give you some background, um, I was having a really difficult time making any progress in the realm of out-of-body experiences and lucid dreaming, anything like that, and things just tended to be very sporadic and uh, more spontaneous and less controlled. And so I funded a Kickstarter a couple of years back that is called Aurora Eye Winks, and essentially it is um, sort of a non-autonomous non method uh, for achieving these lucid states. It's similar to the eye mask, like if you've ever heard of Remy, uh, I think there's a couple of other ones. Um, but this this one functions similarly, uh, but the benefit of this one is that it has built-in uh, built EEG to actually read your brain waves and hopefully be able to determine when the optimal time to then flash lights in your eyes at your closed eyelids to, um, to prompt you to become lucid at, at that point. So um, my, my hopes for this are high. I'm actually even, I'm more excited about the EEG aspect of this than uh, the actual device helping me become lucid because I've made an awful lot of progress over the last couple of years and don't feel like I really need it for that, that piece anymore. Uh, but I am anxious to try out the EEG in regards to seeing what my brainwave state looks like uh, during the vibrational state, during separation, during an out-of-body experience, things like that, and then see if I can then learn to replicate that state during the daytime, you know, during meditation or something like that, because achieving these states during meditation is something that I've never been incredibly successful with. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it, and I'll show you guys what's inside. So first of all... Uh, they sent me a paper. It says early access. Uh, I should mention that they they approved me to be in their early access program, and what that means is, uh, while I get a device early on, it's not exactly the same look as the final device. It supposedly has all the same functionality. Maybe branding will change. Maybe the box will change, uh, but they claim it'll be just as comfortable and just as functional. Uh, but the the benefit of being an early access um, user is that you get to help contribute to uh, making the device better. So I'll get to upload data every day uh, using their desktop app and uh, hopefully help them improve their, uh, their software and the device for the end users that get this during the normal, uh, normal purchase and delivery cycle. So I'll read this out loud. Uh, Welcome to the Aurora Early Access Program. We're excited to help improve your sleep, explore your dreams, and develop new brain sensing applications on the Aurora platform. Oh, that's another thing I should mention is I believe that the API for this is open and available and uh, being a software developer myself, I actually am looking forward to playing with that API and seeing uh, what functionality that's got and what I can add to it. So it's everything you need to know it, it gets started is in or on the tray below. Using your Aurora unlocks valuable insights, grow, uh, insights grows our knowledge base and feeds our flexible machine learning platform. With your help, Aurora will become even more powerful, and we sincerely thank you for your support, sweet dreams. Uh, note, be extremely careful with the USB cable. Apply gentle force on the cable when plugging it in and out. Don't twist or bend, uh, you will break it. That's good advice. Um, so, at, the, at this current point in time, I believe their only mobile option is an iOS app. Uh, which I have an Android, I won't be able to use the iOS app, but my understanding based on their announcements and their updates throughout the months is that they also have a desktop app, which it says they do, and hopefully I can um, do all the syncing and, uh, you know, syncing the data from the device, hopefully, to the, the desktop app. I'm not exact, exactly sure how that'll work. Um, I'm anxious to see if it's a Bluetooth connection or something else. And if it turns out that you need an iOS app to do this, um, my wife has an old like Gen 1 iPhone sitting around somewhere. I, I don't even know where it is, but maybe I can dig that up and uh, plug it in and charge it. We will see. Uh, or I may have to wait for the Android app and it may just be uh, something that sits on my shelf until then. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, so that is that. Uh, inside the box. There is the little main computing device. Looks like it's unbranded. This is one of those things that I was saying is probably going to change between this early access program and the final release. I believe they have like a, a little icon uh, that they're going to start putting on everything. It's their little owl logo. Uh, but this will be what basically flashes the lights 
through those bottom sections right here. Um, and I don't know as far right now as if whether or not you can change the intensity of the LEDs or if it's just one setting, uh, colors, I'm not sure exactly what's available yet, but I will let you know. Uh, and then the uh, headband snaps on to those snaps. And then this is what appears to be the headband with the um, inside out. Um, so I'm guessing these are the sensors that it uses with the EEG. Um, being that it's only got three sensors, I'm curious to see how much brain activity they can actually uh, pull because I know online when I've researched EEGs, they have anything from six to 14 to 20 something sensors sometimes. Um, so primarily this will just be in the front of my head and maybe that's all that'll be required for, uh, for reading uh, dream activity or, or things like that. We'll see. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here. Yep, uh, little bag to put it in. That, that is the OWL logo that I was talking about that I believe will eventually be on printed on that little computing device right there. A USB cable to charge it. I don't know if it's charged yet, but I will find out soon. And, and a sticker. <laughs> So that is it. That's what's in the box. Um, like I, I hopefully indicated, lots of unknowns at this point. As far as whether or not I'll even be able to use it without an iOS version of this app, we will see. But I'm uh, very hopeful that I can actually plug it into a computer and do whatever I need to through that. Uh, but we'll find out, and I'll let you guys know. So that's it for now. As always, like, comment, subscribe, help me build this community, and I will talk to you guys again soon.